Burley Unlimited says it is working closely with the police to facilitate a thorough investigation into a shooting involving one of their employees which left three customers at a NCB branch in Portmore nursing injuries. Three people, including two women, were reported a shot at the Portmore NCB on Thursday morning after a gun belonging to a member of a beryllium security team accidentally discharged. In a statement on Thursday afternoon, beryllium dubbed the incident as unfortunate as it expressed it would be cooperating with the relevant authorities in their investigation. Meanwhile, NCB also in a statement issued on Thursday extended support to those impacted by what they described as an unusual event. NCB sought to assure its customers that it remains committed to providing a safe and secure environment and deeply regrets any concern and inconvenience this incident may have caused and would like to assure the public that they are taking this matter very seriously. It noted further that the main entrance of the NCB Portmore will remain closed until the completion of the area's processing by investigators, but said it had arranged for alternative means to ensure customers would be served. More information soon. Minister of Education and Youth Favor Williams has requested additional information surrounding the collapse at school and subsequent death of a grade 3 student from Wakefield Primary and Infant School in Trelawney on Wednesday. Eight-year-old Alexia Drummond was reported the scene unresponsive on the floor by her classroom teacher after the lunch break and was taken to a nearby health facility and then to hospital by school personnel. She was later pronounced dead. This is a terrible tragedy and has traumatized Alexia's family, classmates and the wider school community, said Williams in response. While stating that more information is needed on the tragic development, the minister is urging school personnel, parents and all who have a duty of care for children to be watchful for any early signs of health challenges. Alexia was described as a quiet and diligent student by her classroom teacher. Williams also said a team of guidance counselors from the ministry has started offering support and counseling to the family and members of the school population. Police in Manchester have launched a manhunt in search of a group of gunmen. Following a shootout during an attempted break-in at a supermarket in Spalding on Thursday morning. A police source told Observer Online that about 3 o'clock a.m., 10 armed men traveling in at least three cars attempted to break into the establishment located close to the Manchester or Clarendon border. The police were reportedly met with heavy gun fire when they responded to the break-in and a shootout ensued. The gunmen managed to escape and reportedly abandoned two motor cars at Walder Stand and Spring Ground. The police said one of the vehicles was reportedly stolen. There were no reports of injuries to any member of the police team. Investigations are ongoing.